casing welding with 8951 welder. Welcome, today we're going to finish the work that we have started. As you remember, we welded the headlight casing before. PPGF10 TD20 headline casing, which is the fiberglass and a 20% of chalk addition. We will use professional 8951 welder. We will use it here because it is handy and we have small handle to do and walls are thin, so the welding itself will be very convenient. In a moment I'm going to weld it and also going to present the difference among the PP, PPU and PPGF used in the casing on some redundant piece of material. As you can see, the staplers were done before, and additionally I have milled that a bit to remove the debris and oxides. Remember to buff the surface and make cut like that. It's not necessary, but mind to remove the oxides. In AT951, I am going to set the temperature and install a thin nozzle. The temperature and blowing is set and also there is a table for your convenience to consult what setting is proper. As you can see, the 4 mm nozzle that I have installed, 1.3 mm wall and there is about 2 mm of the wall and a PP eventually. It means you set the temperature to 1 and blowing 4 and it is about 300 degrees. Blowing at set 4. If it was pure PP, you would set the temperature to 1 and here we have PPGF, so it should be a bit higher and that's why I will raise it to 1.5 for the start and wait till it heats. It is already now a triangular binder Temperature should also be set to see that the, the binder mats easily. That's why I have raised it to set to 2 and proceed. Remember that if you wish to rest uh, for a moment, press the binder towards the surface at all time and then you can pull the handle aside.
If you wish to change the position of the element as I have here or you will always pull the handle away, wait until it cools down and only then you can do it. I have welded and finished the piece, but I need to strengthen the element. You can always turn it upside down and weld from the other side, if needs be. Due to the fact that I have used fiberglass binder, which is much stronger than PP itself, and the welding with a triang single triangular bind is is enough, shorten the binder. From each side, the welding itself is finished and all you have to do is to buff it a bit, trim the wires with some angular grinder mill. Ściąć oczywiście nadmiar tych drutów jakąś e, e, malutką tarczką. E, czy Or if needs be, you can always have it painted. Czy, e, czy tutaj w momencie, kiedy robimy usługę, klient sobie zażyczy. No to It's for the client convenience, of course, if needs be. Mamy spoiwo czarne. But as you can see, the casing is black and the binding is black, so there is no need. We have used PPGF binder with a fiberglass. There is a milled piece of material for you to see the difference among pure PP that I will lay in a moment and PPU. PPU is fairly new on the market that is used with all PP mixtures. One piece is ready, so I will prepare the other one for the second presentation. Here I will use pure PP, triangular one, the same size as the previously used, the temperature is the same and the piece will soon be welded. Watch the difference in surface and binder, how they react to the temperature. Przy danej temperaturze, jak się zachowuje te spoiwo. As you could see, PP comparing to the fiberglass one melts much faster as it has a lower melting temperature point. It is perfect for a person who isn't skilled in the job very much. I would advise the handle like the one before to weld with a pure PP. However, to the fact that PP is not as strong as PPGF binder, you need to weld that from both sides. Fiberglass binder, like I said, is not needed. PP 
PPP material that is advised for almost all materials as it doesn't matter of what fillers are in the materials. It will be perfect for all kinds of fillers like PPD, PPU or fiberglass or with a top like T20, T30, T40 and even PP, EPM, DM and you name it. The binder is also triangular and the temperature stays the same. Make sure to test the binder beforehand if the temperature is proper for that. To samo tworzywo spawacie, czy ta temperatura jest odpowiednia? The PPU material, as you have noticed, that, are, that the temperature is a bit higher than the pure PP, but not as much as PPGF. This is between fiber glass binder and PPB binder when it comes to temperature. In this case, it also additions in the material to use PPU and not pure PP instead. And even for those who are not much experienced in welding, use PPGF and not PPU as it is easier in welding. I have left a strip to show you how it all holds together. For the beginners, it is advisable to do some tests beforehand. So use various materials and test and wait some time to see if it holds as strong as you expected and there are no problems here whatsoever. So it holds very well. It holds very well as you can see. So the material like that with some additions within like PP or 10 to 20 percent Hulk does not stir the problem as you can see here. Like you saw, the welding uh, such thick and harder elements like headlights, handle, prior stapled. What is more important, staples are not an ultimate repair. Welding afterwards will do the job and it can be done by the person, by one person. So the stapler is kind of a substitute, a help, and it holds very well. So the welding itself is hard enough, then you can weld it. Uh, thank you for your time and see you in the next one where we'll be testing other binders and materials and tools as well. Thank you.